So guys, uh, this video uh, intends to fix the uh, fail to load uh, save data issue experienced in, uh, by some players when you copy and paste uh, uh, a save file into your, your save file destination. In my case, I kind of loaded a save file that was I mean, downloaded from, uh, from web and uh, it kind of worked uh, it was a hundred percent complete at uh, uh, hundred percent complete file it was uh, it did work in my um, version of uh, the um, uh, secure and it didn't it didn't have any problems and um, there was another uh, save file that i downloaded randomly from a different source which kind of uh, gave me the error of failed to load the save data in. Actually, this video kind of you know intends to uh, show how you can fix both the fail to load save data and secondly the, the the corrupt data issue as well, which is faced by some of the players. And uh, this kind of um, uh, the fix that you have also helps players again okay, to kind of um, get back to the point okay to the, to an old point where okay you uh, took a wrong decision and then you had no option of. Um, uh, like getting back, um, you know, like to you know, see the ending. So the game is actually kind of, you know, it's um, uh, it, it provides around you know, like three, three or four endings. And then if you take a decision uh, regarding the iron code uh, to a point, you just end up with like losing uh, the uh, endings. So you, we just go ahead, you just quit the game and then get back to um, in the folder like uh, let's say you, you you could actually save uh, your uh, put your save files in a folder and this particular file is the one that i kind of downloaded okay from uh, randomly from a web and expected it to work but it, it didn't work and i had um, the error popping up um, uh, like saying fail to load save data in so your your save files are actually located in 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 your uh, uh, in a this thing called the app data, uh, and in that uh, it's it's in it's in your uh, uh, local drive, okay, and app data roaming. So if you want to see these files or the app data folder, you'll have to enable the hidden view uh, or the view hidden files thing in. And I've actually put in the link and how you can enable that viewing in. So you navigate all the way to Securo. And then okay, these are the two folders. One is the Steam version, and another one is the um, Codex version. And so you just uh, kind of have to copy uh, your like this. Is, there was a working save file, in which I just um, showed you running a file. And so I need to kind of uh, take the file. Uh, the, this folder is the one where I've actually saved it. So I need to take that file and copy paste. It into, into, into this location and so now I'm actually replacing the file the working save file with the file that actually created the uh, fail to load save data issue for me so we get back to the game in a while and we'll see what happens when you try to load the game in. So you have the problem of failed to load save data issue and, and no matter how many times uh, you try it, I mean, you select OK, I mean it just doesn't get past this error and then you, the only way to get out of it is by pressing Alt plus F4 and you, can, you can't just do anything. And, and once you have done that, if you get back to the folder, you'll have to revert back to your working uh, save file state. Uh, to actually start the uh, the fixing or the troubleshooting, in. you're going to go back to your save file destination, uh, which is actually in your local, and then you go there. You take the app data, roaming, securo, and then that's it. You have to replace. So again, uh, this is the uh, Steam version, and the one that you see over there is actually the Codex version. So you have to buy the Steam version. We recommend buying Steam version before you get the Codex version. Okay, replace uh, the, the the file with your working, the earlier working save file, in. and then we get to load the game. Okay, and it should be working. So what we do now is like we I would recommend 
you keep both the window open. One window is where you have your working secure save file and the other window is where you have the, the, the one which gave you the error in. You keep these windows open for, kind of, you know, like, um, it kind of helps us to, like, work um, with the save files. You eventually need to get this save file working in. So I'll be showing you in a while how it can be done. You'll have to kind of, you know, copy it, uh, copy that file into this uh, working file destination. And it has to be copied into this destination. So I will show you how it is done. And then you'll have to edit the save file. In. So we have already kind of reverted back to the uh, working save file state. And then uh, now we should be able to launch the game without any issues. So that's it, it checks for the save data and uh, it's fine. So now what I need to do is, I need to launch a new game. It goes and actually goes on to update the save data. In. It actually kind of uh, creates a new profile at this stage. So as soon as the cutscene starts running, you'll have to press Alt-Tab. Okay, Alt-Tab to get back to the window. And then when you see these windows, you'll have to kind of copy the working, I mean, the, the, the sys save file needs to be kind of like, okay, you can cut or copy, whatever is it, onto the working save file status, your working save file. Eh? So you have replaced it, now you expect, you would expect that, you know, you'd... Game would crash, but that's not the case. You still have the cutscene, trust me, running. Yeah, it's just running. Uh, you can just go ahead and then like skip the cutscene. Okay, and then the idea is to get back to the title menu and load the game again. Once you load the game, you are supposed to see two profiles. Okay, the profile, the second profile is the one that was created when you launched the game. Uh, we'll get back in a while. You press any button. Go to the load game. Ah, yeah, there you go. You see two profiles. So one, this the second one was created as soon as you launched the new game, and you don't need it anymore. You can just delete it. But once you have deleted it, you are left with the earlier profile. Okay, and when you click it, let's see what happens. So we have the fail to load save data because you copied the um, the file it was actually showing error in. And now we'll have to start working on to that save file. Let's kind of close this window. We don't need it anymore. Okay, and we need to keep our focus on the save file that was transferred. And we'll be working on the save file. And so uh, the H cross D um, or hexa edit um, hex editor is the one. This is the app that needs to be used for editing the save files. You will be actually kind of copying and transferring certain offset bytes. Um, uh, from one range to another range in of offset in so that's it i have actually provided uh, the links in the description to all the apps even for edge coffee editor in. and then there is this link that i also provided in the description as well okay which actually provides a set of instructions to kind of how you can copy the bytes okay and remove the uh, both the fail to load save data and the uh, and the corrupt data issue and so uh, the instructions ranging from uh, 8 to 12 are the ones that you will be needing okay for your fix here and now if you see you need to copy the first uh, type shown okay and then uh, you just need to click search, go to offset, you have to paste okay, the first so there is this offset range okay, that you actually need to copy and um, so uh, coming back again 
yeah so you need to care you need to be careful while selecting it's 00a 003 d4 to db you need to be careful when you select the bytes okay and then it has to be the same range as specified in the instruction set in because you're going to copy all this thing into uh, another offset range and uh, so it's better it's advised recommended to actually kind of copy and paste it into a notepad for future reference and use so again uh, let's get back to the instruction set okay and we'll go to the next range of offset okay so you'll have to kind of um, uh, replace the bytes in this section with the ones that you copied earlier in so again let's get back to search go to okay paste the offset byte over there the offset and then you kind of uh, quickly uh, reach the area so now you'll have to kind of replace you have to select from 34164 to 3416pm for the replacement of the copied bytes in so again you need to be careful over here 003 416064 to 6p. Need to be extra careful when you select the range. Okay, now we have already copied yet copied the bytes in this not, on the notepad earlier. Just copy and just paste it in that section over there. You paste insert. And then you go ahead and you save the file on. So when you get back to the game and then you try to load the profile, you are you end up with the message called "You save data is corrupt." You are not stopping there. Okay, we have some more stuff to do to actually get this save file working. So that is, that you just kind of again Alt Tab and then get to the next instruction. Okay, where it says that you need to do a MD5 check summon. You need to select a byte, okay, from a from a bigger chunk, okay, to do an MD5 check sum. Once you do the MD5 check sum analysis, you kind of you know eliminate the error in. And uh, I mean that's actually the last step for eliminating the save corrupt data issue. And once you do a check sum, you get a 32-digit uh, dex number that needs to be pasted. Uh, into the other range which I was showing in a short while and so you again over here you basically you go to edit you go to select block you have to need you have to put the first set first offset and then you need to put the okay yeah, and then you need to put the end offset as well you're basically selecting a huge chunk of bytes okay to be I mean for check some analysis and it's actually md5 to be particular in once you have selected that you go you need to do the checksum analysis click analysis go to checksum navigate all the way down when you see md5 and click ok so you see a checksum which was kind of popped up in the uh, a bottom window in. This needs to be again copied and pasted onto Notepad for future reference. Once that is done, you need to select the the next offset range where this uh, 32 digit uh, hex dex number needs to be copied onto in. So this copying okay, is, I mean, kind of, you know, is the checksum that actually helps in eliminating the data corruption issue. And you do the same thing. You go select block, and uh, that's it. Okay, it's basically the same row. Okay, the 32-digit uh, dex number needs to be kind of put in the same in the in a row. And so when you click the end offset to be in the safe side, it's better to always keep the end offset. Again, getting back to the edge cross editor, you need to put the end offset again. Once you put it, okay, you get back to the actual, uh, I mean, range offset range where uh, the replacement uh, needs to be done. So you replace those bytes with a 32 dex uh, checksum 
figure in. I've actually had put it on the notepad. Okay, you can do that or you can alternatively uh, directly copy and paste insert. And you save the file. Now, if this process was done completely, I mean, like it was done correctly, without any hassles or without any issues, you would be able to kind of load the save game now without any problems. And the, the corrupt data should actually kind of be fixed. So uh, let's get back to the game. And now let's click OK and then see what happens. There you go. The file is working now. The save file, which is actually giving the fail to load save data, is now working. So this was actually another 100% complete file, uh, which for some reason uh, that you know, like I kind of downloaded with uh, an expectation that I could kind of you know work on it, but it didn't work, and then I had to kind of Google for you know like fix and tips on how I can get this working in. So I've actually provided links in the description uh, for, uh, to the uh, to the app that is needed, the HCross the editor, and even the links for you know the instruction set, uh, which might be helpful. And if you kind of uh, like this uh, video fix, uh, please to subscribe. Thanks for watching.